Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to Crawlbase, your one-stop shop for everything learning web scraping. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to parse XML in Python easily and fast. You'll learn how to handle XML files of all sizes, convert XML to dictionaries, and save parsed data to CSV and JSON. As usual, we've got you covered with a detailed blog post, complete with code snippets for each step. It's designed to make the process as straightforward as possible. The link is in the description so that you can follow along with ease. There are two popular libraries in Python for parsing XML. They are xml.etree.elementtree and xml.dom.minidom. First, we will parse XML with xml.etree.elementtree, a lightweight library that comes with Python by default. Here's a sample script to parse an XML string. Copy and paste it into your IDE. Let's save the file as XML parsing.py. Let's parse the script. Here's what our output might look like. Now let's parse XML with xml.dom.minidom. Here's a sample script to parse XML data with Minidom. Let's parse the script. Here's what our output might look like. Next, we will explore how to work with external XML parsing libraries. Here's how to parse XML with LXML. To get started with LXML, you'll need to install it. You can do this via pip. Copy and paste this code. LXML is installed. Here's a sample script to use LXML to parse XML data. Copy and paste it into your IDE. Let's parse the script. Here's what our output might look like. Let's show you how to handle malformed XML with Beautiful Soup gracefully. To use Beautiful Soup for XML parsing, install the library along with a parser like LXML. Copy and paste this code. Now that we have installed the Beautiful Soup Python library, here's a sample script to use Beautiful Soup to handle malformed XML. Copy and paste it into your IDE. Let's parse the script. Here's what our output might look like. Let's convert the XML into a Python dictionary. To get started, you'll need to install the library using pip copy and paste this code. Here's a sample script on how to use XML to dict to convert XML into a dictionary. Copy and paste it into your IDE. Let's parse the script. Here's what our output might look like. Now, let's use Untangle to turn the XML into Python objects that you can easily access through attributes. To get started, we will install the library using pip. Copy and paste this code. Here's a sample script on how to use untangle to turn the XML into Python objects. Copy and paste it into your IDE. Let's parse the script. Here's what our output might look like. Next, we will save parsed XML data in more familiar forms, such as CSV or JSON. First, we install Python's pandas package. Copy and paste this code into your terminal. Here's a sample script on how to convert XML data into a CSV file using pandas. Copy and paste it into your IDE. Let's parse the script. Now, our data has been saved as CSV. Here's what our output might look like. Let's save our data to JSON. Here's a sample script to convert XML to JSON and save it to a file. Let's parse the script. Now, our data has been saved as JSON. Here's what our output might look like. And that's it. We have shown you how to parse XML in Python. You can check our blog for a detailed tutorial on how to work with XML data in Python. We hope this video was fun and valuable. 
If you're interested in scraping other websites, such as Amazon, Airbnb, Google, and so on, check out step-by-step -step tutorials on our YouTube channel and blog. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video.